Bonjour, I'm Olivier and this is your Wine Rendezvous. Today, let's talk quickly about the difference between whites and reds. It's pretty easy. Uh, the whole difference between white wine and red wine lies in how they're made. Huh? To make white wine, uh, here you're white, here you're red. To make white wine, how does that work? You're going to need white grapes huh, in general. Thank you, very informative. To make uh, so Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, uh, all these you press, boom, white grape juice. Fermentation will be your first step after, you, after your grape juice comes. Fermentation, that means sugar is turned into alcohol, boom, CO2 is released, and that's all under the action of the, the yeast uh, in, your, in your grape juice, okay? Fermentation happens, you're happy, now you have your alcohol, boom, you put your wine into either stainless steel vats or, uh, or oak barrels, salmon, vats, whatever, just to, for your wine to age. Okay, so that's the process to make a white wine. You press, you do your fermentation, and then you have your wines age a little bit. Uh, yet you find some white wines that are made out of dark grapes. Huh? If you think of a Pinot Grigio, white wine, red grape. Another example for this is Champagne. Champagne is mostly, um, well, you find two red grapes in, in Champagne, Pinot Meunier and Pinot Noir. White wine, though. Uh, alors why is that? Simply because the, the pulp, the interior of the grape, tends to be white in general for, for, for grapes. So whenever you press the, the grape, the juice will come out white. Okay, uh, how do you make a red wine then? Well, to make a red wine, a little visual effect action, to make a red wine, uh, you're going to need dark grapes. Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Grenache, Syrah, Pinot Noir. Okay, all these you press, boom, white grape juice, fermentation happens, okay, sugar turns into alcohol, then you can press harder and you can press longer. So the color of the skins is going to be extracted and so will the tannins and we'll come to this in a second. That's called the maceration phase, okay, so you extract color, you extract tannins. Tannins um, will be the little mouth drying, little stringency uh, that you find in, uh, in some reds, rarely in whites, uh, well, and that comes from pressing, that comes from pressing the skins again, from pressing the stems and from pressing the seed of your grape. Huh? When you eat a grape, sometimes you chew the seed, uh, it's bitter, it's astringent, astringent, that's tannins, and that's this tannic acid. Oh, then some varietals are more tannic than others. Uh, it's a matter of knowing whether or not you like these uh, tannins in your reds. Okay, um, a word about rosé maybe. Rosé wine is just in between. Okay, so you do need dark grapes, just like in reds. You press a bit more than in whites, a bit less than in reds. Uh, so you extract a bit of color, not all the way. Voila, then all you have to do is just drink. Before this, I will say you au revoir and we look forward to seeing you very shortly on winerendezvous.com. Cheers.